July 23rd, St. Apollinaris, Bishop of Ravenna and Martyr. Apollinaris of Ravenna is a Syrian saint whom the Roman martyrology describes as a bishop who, according to tradition, while spreading among the nations the unsearchable riches of Christ, led his flock as a good shepherd and honored the church of Classis near Ravenna by a glorious martyrdom. It is not certain that he was one of the 72 disciples of Christ, but he was was apparently a disciple of St. Peter, who consecrated and commissioned him as the first bishop of Ravenna, Italy, during the reign of Emperor Claudius, the fourth Roman emperor who reigned from the year 41 to 54. He was famous among early martyrs, and the high veneration which the church paid early to his memory is a testimony to his sanctity and apostolic spirit. During his 26-year tenure as Bishop of Ravenna, he faced nearly constant persecution. The miracles Apollinaris wrought attracted official attention, for they, in his preaching, won many converts to the faith, while at the same time bringing upon him the fury of the idolaters who beat him cruelly and drove him from the city. He was found half dead on the seashore and kept in concealment by the Christians, but was captured again and compelled to walk on burning coals and a second time expelled. But he remained in the vicinity and continued his work of evangelization. Shortly after, he journeyed to Amelia and a third time returned to Ravenna. Again, however, he was captured, hacked with knives, had scalded water poured over his wounds, was beaten in the mouth with stones because he persisted in preaching, and then, loaded with chains, was flung into a horrible dungeon to starve to death. But after four days, he was put on board a ship and sent to Greece. There the same course of preachings and miracles and sufferings continued, and when his very presence caused the oracles to be silent, he was, after a cruel beating, sent back to Italy. All this continued for three years, and a fourth time he returned to Ravenna. By this time, Vespian was emperor, and he, in answer to the complaints of the pagans, issued a decree of banishment against the Christians. Apollinaris was kept concealed for some time, but one day, when he was passing out of the gates of the city, he was set upon and savagely beaten, probably at Classis, a suburb of Ravana, but he lived for seven days, foretelling, meantime, that the persecutions would increase, but that the church would ultimately triumph. There we have St. Apollinaris, disciple of Peter, bishop, and martyr. His relics are at the Benedictine Abbey of Classe, Ravenna, and in St. Lambert's Church, Dusseldorf, Germany. He is the patron saint of epilepsy, gout, the Archdiocese of Ravenna, Italy, and six other cities. Reflection Following Jesus involves risks, sometimes the supreme risk of life itself. Martyrs are people who would rather accept the risk of death than deny the cornerstone of their whole life, faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone will die eventually, the persecutors and those persecuted. The question is, what kind of conscience people will bring before the Lord for judgment? Remembering the witness of past and present martyrs can help us make the often small sacrifices that following Jesus today may require.